We have literally just arrived at the Seeker Hunting Block and in the first five minutes, Big Browse from last year has shown up in exactly the same spot he was rutting last year. So last year we couldn't get a shot at him because he was in the thick shit, but I cut a clearing out, didn't I? And now he's in the open. So we're gonna slide down there and see if we can't put a hole in him. Three days last year, most frustrating hunt I've ever been on. Let's see if I can't put it right. Craig's the man. That's pretty cool. We're now set up, but he is gone. So we're just going to uh, wait him out and see if he doesn't show himself. Only a matter of time with this guy. Exciting stuff. <coughs> Do you get a nice perfect broadside though, eh? Let them just come back down into that open spot. come back to that hind eventually. Yeah, he's, he, where, where that one just ran down, he's standing right there in the scrub, just above that hind. Oh, yeah. To see his antlers. Just remember to aim to the right, eh? Hey? Yeah, I'm going to get shot on him there. Hmm? I think I'm shot. In the way. Yeah. Yeah, just wait for him to be in the clear. Let me know when you're gonna touch it off. Yeah, we need um we need a little bit of, need a biggest target as possible. Eh? I believe that was a great shot. 340 yards. Well done, Craig. An early one. An hour? I'm telling you, that stag. Check him out last year, I had him down here at 150 yards and then when I tried to kill him, he mucked around on that top clearing for three days and two little openings. It's a nice big opening now, because I spent an hour up there with a the chainsaw earlier this year. For this very moment right here, for big brows. <laughs> that stag means a lot to me, mate. Yeah. He means a lot to me. Yeah, and now he's going to mean a fair bit to you too. Yeah, he is, yeah. I was looking at him front on, waiting for the shot, and I'm thinking, he's going to look nice on the wall with that one I got 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
Well, Craig, this meet big brows. Stags with legendary, legendary histories have names, and this guy is Big Brows, and you'll see why. Possibly close to 14 inch brow tines. Got an extra tine there. What do you reckon, Greg? Pretty good. Yeah, you don't need long. Stag's main beam length is I think possibly around 34 to 35 inches long, which is outstanding. A stag drawing behind us. Awesome. Big climb up the other side. Stag's got a huge main beam, huge brow tines, everything about him is big. He was really big last year, but he's bigger this year. Let's have a look at him last year. This is him last year. There's no girls to chase, I might as well eat blackberries. Look at that, he's got some good condition on him. Yeah, gosh, he's, um, he's definitely in good condition, isn't he? Oh, you no. don't like me when I'm finished. My <coughs> razor's not putting enough um, fur on as he, what he should be. Oh, yeah. You know, but he's... It depends on what he's doing with it. Please, if, he's, if he's grazing it, yeah. you can go, yep, yep, 130 bucks. We're only here for 20 minutes this afternoon and he popped into the clearing quickly and I knew it was something special straight away. And you knew that I was looking at something special by my reaction and you jumped on the bino straight away and said, he's big brows, boy. <laughs> Very different brows. Certainly got some length, that's the thing that struck me from the distance was the length. I knew I was looking at a good deer straight away. We'd just been looking at you know, probably three or four immature deers prior to then. Um, a fair bit of action going on and as deer hunting is, out popped this fella. Um, Brian reckons I'm all ass. As soon as I turn up the big one, same pop out. Pretty good hunting spot though.